What's up? So this is not exciting, fun content, but it is um, just two guides of how to do um, two different types of chests in Torghast. I had a bit of an issue to begin with, so I couldn't find many good guides. So I tried to make my own. Whether that was successful or not, I don't know, but you can use the timestamps in the description to find the one you're looking for. And I hope it helps you somewhat. If it does, please like the video and consider subscribing. With no further ado, here's the lever locked chest. So this is a different type of chest in Torghast. This is the lever locked chest. And this essentially, when you find it, it'll all be like this. So each lever will be facing one way. You'll have one chain. It's not similar to the key one. In this case, what you need to do is find a combination, essentially going for a combination lock um, type scenario here, of zeros and ones, or on or off, or up or down, whatever you call it, um, in order to remove the train. So the good thing about this one is it's kind of brainless, and the but the bad thing about this is basically there's 16 different combinations and it could be any one of them. So you could be doing 16 different combinations. Um, so I'll put them ones on screen now. Um, and I'm just going to give it a go now and see how I get on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with 0, 0, 0 as I'm going to see it. And then 1. Did it unlock? No. And then I'm going to do 1, 1. And it unlocked. So although I managed to get this on the first go, if you don't, which the chances are you won't, um, just follow this list with the ones being the levers are up and the zeros being when the levers down and you will have to try a maximum of 16 times and then it will definitely open. So this is the second type of chest you'll see in Torghast and in fact it's quite an intimidating one to be looked at. It's definitely not as simple as the lever one. Um, as you can see already it's got four chains instead of one. And we've got these runes now, which um, instead of just having the up and down motion, they in fact have uh, three separate symbols they can be. So to simplify this for you, if you just want to get it done, all I would say is ignore the chains. Does Ignore the chains coming on and off. Essentially, all that is is a representation of the color of the rune. So you'll see if I change them, um, when they go green, in the case of this recording now, because I'm um, post-recording this, this, this voice, um, when they go green, it removes the chain. So you don't need to look at the chains at all. We just know we need to turn the whole thing to green. So the caveat here is when you click on a rune, some of them will change other runes to different colors, meaning the chain will then come back on, or in this case, it would be incorrect. So all we need to do at this point is just get everything to green. Um, one of them will just change itself. One of them will change itself and one other and another one of the runes will change itself and two others and then finally you'll have the fourth rune which will change every rune at once so what we need to do is work backwards here the best thing to do is work find the rune which changes all the other runes and then we need to work backwards from that to the point where we have just that final rune that only changes itself so really the goal here isn't to get all of them matching up because once we have three of them matching up the three being uh, in this case uh, one two and four then we always know that three will only ever change itself so we can just scroll through that three willingly and, and get to that final uh, symbol um, as you can see I'm just gonna go for it now quickly in game um, you can watch how I do it there is part of luck on it but essentially I hope this makes sense it is not an easy one to explain but I recommend ignoring the chains, looking at the symbols, you're just matching the symbols up. And uh, once you understand the, the, the basic mechanics of it, hopefully you'll be able to get it yourself. Um, I'll also link resources in the resources in the, in the description for this one because it is quite a hard one to explain. Um, so good luck. Uh, take care, guys. See you later.